This week in maths, the children will be learning all about position. They will be looking at position, movements and turns, describing the position of one object relative to another, using the terms top, middle, bottom, around, close, near and far. They will also use on top of, in front of and above. They will then move on to looking at movement and the concepts explored will be up and down, forwards and backwards, and inside and outside. They will then use clocks to look at whole turns, half turns, quarter turns, and the notion of clockwise and anti-clockwise. Let's have a look at a problem the children will be solving. How is everyone seated? So here we have uh, Elliot, Sam and Hannah and we would say that they are seated on the top row of the cinema. Ruby, Amira, Emma and Charles are seated on the middle row of the cinema as they are in the middle. Holly, Ravi and Lulu are seated on the bottom row and here we have Lulu, Ravi and Holly they are on the bottom row. Let's have a look at another problem. Can you see the burger? So the buns are at the top and at the bottom. And what can you see in the middle? We have the tomato, meat, cheese and lettuce inside the bun. So the tomato, we would say, is above the meat. Tomato and the meat. And the cheese and the lettuce, because it is above the meat, the cheese and the lettuce as well. So the cheese and the lettuce. The tomato is on top of the meat, and the meat is on top of the cheese. So the meat is there and the cheese is below, which means that the meat is on top of the cheese. They would then move on to describing movements. So the movement of Amira, she is climbing up the stairs and she is sliding down the slide. The car, we could say the car is moving forward or if the car is reversing, the car is moving backwards. They will be looking at making turns and describing them. So Amira made a whole turn, for example. Elliot made a half turn. Ruby made a quarter turn. And Lulu made a three quarter turn. The children will then be looking at the movement of hands on a clock. So, for example, the hour hand here made a whole turn and went all the way round back to where it started. The hour hand made a half turn. So, to make six o'clock, the hand made a half turn. And a quarter turn, the hand went from twelve to three. And then a three quarter turn where the hand went all the way round to the nine. See if you can use some of the key vocabulary you've learnt in this video to describe the movement of the bird. Hope you enjoyed the video.